Hello everyone, it is Nancy Taylor here and this video is all about the smart interview. It is called the smart interview because it is the smart option because it takes less time which is precious, spend it with your loved ones, you know that whole thing how we all die. Yeah, so do the smart interview. <laughs> Just kidding. If you don't want to do the smart interview that's fine but this is what it is. You'd use your phone, the phone. So I'm going to jump in on the VIP Kid app and I'm going to show you what to do for the smart interview and I will just give you all the information, <laughs> all of it. The smart interview, essentially what you do is you go on there, you watch some practice videos, you do a quiz and then you are able to record yourself teaching one slide, one slide, one slide. In the express interview where you can go if you have an, a referral, they will send you a link and you can film two slides but you record it yourself, then you have to upload, you have to send in a URL. So with this option, my phone records and dinos on my form. phone. It's everywhere. So you just do it on your phone. It's a simple way because the reason why they made this option is just to make it simple so they can do like a pre-screening to see, do you speak English? Do you speak it well? Would you be a good candidate for VIP Kid? And then there's training throughout the application process to really get certified in the level. But this is like your pre-screening, so don't feel like you have to stay up all night and prepare for days and nights and days and nights. They're just making sure you're not a robot. I am a robot trying to be a teacher. They just want to make sure that you're a good candidate for the position. So if you feel like you're a good fit, you have the three requirements, bachelors, check. Number two, one year of teaching experience, check. And number three, you are eligible to work in the US or Canada, meaning that you have a native accent or an American accent. That is what the parents are seeking after with the American English teacher or Canadian English teacher. Yes. Okay, so let's jump into the app and check and see what it looks like. I think that's where you'll really get a good grasp of what it's like on the Smart Interview. Alrighty then, cha! Okay, so we made it to the Smart Demo, woohoo! Introduction. It walks you through the steps, so for each question you have 90 seconds to complete. Step two, after we do the questions, then we have the sixth question is a recording session. So there's an example of exactly what you're doing. Open your camera and start recording. The maximum length of your recording should be two minutes and 30 seconds. Man, that's specific. <laughs> now, after I do that demo, step three is after uploading, we will provide the demo lesson analysis report based on your performance. So let's jump into those five key aspects of being a VIP kid teacher. So the lesson objectives are taught right here. Before teaching any class, the first question you should ask yourself is by the end of this class, what should the student have achieved? I will tell you time and time again, if I don't understand an activity I'm teaching, what was the objective of that slide? It wasn't that they would be able to do the activity perfectly. No, it was that they were practicing the word fun and game in a sentence. So it just, you make sure that you're following the objectives. If the objectives are in red, so it's fun and game, then I'm first going to teach them. I'm going to circle fun. Fun! I circle game, 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 good job, the game is fun, good job, way to go. So the objectives of that slide were to teach fun, two times repeating, game two times, and then the sentence, the, the target sentence. Number two is repetition. The student should repeat new content at least twice in, insul in isolation, in insulation, <laughs> in isolation. So for your repetition, it, it tells you exactly what to do. So if I have the word run, I am teaching it twice in isolation, and then I use it in a target sentence. There is a lot of parroting or back and forth, and TPR is huge here. So let's practice. Say I circle it on the screen. Run! Run! I can run! Good job! High five! 
Repeat it two times or more. Parroting and use that verb in isolation before you use it in the sentence. Number three is speaking speed and language when teaching a low level ESL student using a slow speaking speed and concise language will ensure that your output is comprehensible to your student. So this is a level two student, about six months of English under their belt. We wanna make sure that we focus on the words and sentences on the slide or that are in the teacher directions. Those are what they know and that's what we want to stick to. Simple. I don't say a lot of words. I don't say, wow, what do you see on this screen? Have you ever seen a soccer ball before? Okay, that's a level four or five. That's more of the conversation. With the level two, I focus just on that word. Let's say the sentence is, he has a phone. Phone? He has a phone. Yes, good job, high five. So I didn't branch out and say, have you ever seen one of these before? Now we're going to practice the sentence, he has a phone. Yeah, no, they won't get it. <laughs> no transitions, avoid all the fluff. Just give them a break, slow down. Number four, total physical response. This is the term TPR. You will hear about it. It will no longer be a, an abbreviation that you are unsure of. <laughs> TPR is a helpful technique that involves moving your body in order to prompt a student response. TPR helps establish meaning, creates an engaging atmosphere, and allows you to communicate your expectations. I've been asked before, is it, do I need to know sign language? No. They are actions that resemble what you are so ball I'm, I'm showing my hands together like a ball I'm representing the word I also want the student to be doing these actions for my kinesthetic learners I want to make sure that it's not just me doing actions in front of the child they need to be interacting and doing the actions as well you use it to show vocabulary ball yes. and you also use it for commands what is your name Good job. I also want to make sure that the student is doing the action. So when I say ball, yes, they've made a ball as well. They're doing it as well. Number five, bringing it home with modeling. You never knew you'd have a career in modeling. <laughs> Just kidding. Modeling means showing the student how to complete a task. TPR and props are great modeling tools. Remember, don't explain it, just do it. I am modeling he plays soccer. I'm going to do it first where the student repeats, then we can do it together, and then they can do it on their own. So it's a gradual release is what I call this. So I would first show soccer. Yes. He plays soccer. Good job. He plays. Well done. What does he play? Sentence. He plays soccer. Good job. Okay, the cool thing with the smart demo is you see the slide taught and then you prep it and teach it yourself. So I have my lighting is good. I'm in the frame. Make sure that your phone is set up on something that's stable. It's not going to tip over and you're going to go frantic. Ah. Run. Run. He runs. Yes. He runs. It runs. Good job. She runs.
Good job. <gasps> they run. They run. Good. He. Yes. It. She. They. They run. Good job, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> trying to think of a name. Good job, Eric. Way to go. High five. And that's it. You just teach a slide, give them a name. Maybe they respond with one word and you turn it into a full sentence. It does not have to be perfect. They're looking for if you can follow instructions, you understand the five basic ESL teaching strategies that they taught you and can pass the quiz on them. Once you pass your smart demo, then you jump into the mock classes. I highly recommend having a referring teacher to help you out because it's going to make your life a lot easier. They know what to expect, what the mentors are looking for. They know what it's like to teach online, teach ESL, teach in this platform. So it's nice to just to have a go-to person. If you don't have your go-to, I will leave in the description box my referral code, my email. Please reach out to me. Let me know if you need some help and support. This is what I do each day. I love working with new teachers. I love helping others come into the team, into the family, and join VIP Kid. So I hope Hope that you can join me and be one of my referrals that would be awesome if you already have a referral i hope that this video helped you out oh scroll down don't forget to scroll down my takeaways from doing it from going through the process is you review the materials super simple so once you go in to start your smart demo you're asked the questions about those esl strategies it asks you directly what you learned i mean it's just like if you're a referral of mine, please reach out to me. Let me know if those questions are throwing a loop for you. And then you will film your video. So before you click begin, make sure that you have a tripod or something to put your your phone on so you can use TPR. I want both of my hands available. I also have my watch because it says to film for two and a half minutes. I want to make sure that I'm on my pacing. Um, when you are teaching, you're using those strategies. Thanks for joining me in this video on the Smart Interview. I hope that it helped you out. I know it's kind of nice to see a little glimpse even though I didn't show the actual PowerPoint that you teach because there is a variety of PowerPoints that may come up on your interview. It's not always the same exact one. I think there's a variety of four or six on that interview. However, you got to see a little glimpse inside of what it looks like. And if you have a question, let me know. <laughs> let me know. Oh, Jack, I ate him. Just kidding. All right, guys, talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, kids in our corns. <laughs> what? Kids in our corn? <laughs> she watches too much YouTube. Is Jack awake?